eventually you're going to want this to fit over it all. And so you don't want any you don't want any wonky LEDs getting in the way. Actually, yeah, this is a good idea. A couple of weeks ago I built a tripod by Robo and I had a really great time putting that module together. It turns out when I finished that video, uh, Robert, what, the guy behind uh, the Robo uh, brand, uh, he and I got into a conversation over email. He really liked the video and in the end he offered to send me um, a little late. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I just have this little YouTube channel. It's not really that big, obviously. Um, I'm just doing this for fun. And to hear that he liked what I did with the tripod and then for him to offer to send me this, this is a really big deal. I didn't expect anything like that. So I, I'm really thankful um, because, I, because he sent it to me for free. Obviously I have this uh, video marked as sponsored, but that's the thing, it's, uh, it's, it's exciting for me. So <laughs> uh, yay. Anyway, I'm gonna build this thing. I'm really excited also because I have the uh, MIDI extension for it. Since my uh, Eurorack is just a complete DIY build, I don't have everything built yet. I've just started this series. I've st just started building the Eurorack system. So there's not a lot of modules there yet and I don't even have a complete voice. So it's hard for me to demo stuff up till now and I've been relying a lot on my Mini Brute. But with this one and the, uh, the MIDI extension, uh, I'm really looking forward to trying to integrate this with the Deluge. Um, and see if I can put together maybe a new track at the end and see how those two things play together. Uh, it'll be cool. So let's get going and uh, build this, the Little 8 by Robo. So the LL8 looks like it's pretty straightforward to build. Um, there's not an extensive amount of parts, which I was kind of surprised at. Looking at it, it looks like it would be a little bit more complex, but yeah, it looks pretty doable. Um, but the there's a couple of things to be aware of on the board. Um, this whole section is pretty tight, so there's some stuff you gotta pay pay attention to. So when you're putting on the switches, um, they feel like they should kind of float above. When you put them in, it doesn't feel like they're gonna want to go all the way onto the board. But uh, if you give the legs a little bit of a squeeze. They pop all the way in and then that switch is sitting flat um, and that's the way it's meant to go on but the problem with that is when you have that on there it's tough right above that switch is where the LED goes so when you put the switch in it's kind of hard to see the positive and negative terminals of the LED so I just took a picture of the PCB board with my phone just to have something to reference back to. Um, but just in general, the uh, positive side of the LEDs goes on the right hand side of the board when you're looking at it straight on um, and with the buttons all at the top. So the diodes go in first, then the switches, then the LEDs, and I'm just going to put those together first and unless there's any further problems, anything to talk about, I'll just uh, get through that really quick and then talk about the next steps. So the LEDs need to go in really, really straight and they kind of sit on top of the base of this tech switch. So the switches need to be soldered in um, before you can solder in the LEDs, but it's a little, a little tough to get them sitting right on the housing of the uh, tack switch. So I think I think I'm just going to go slow and steady and I think that's probably the best way to approach this because yeah, eventually you're going to want this to fit 
over it all. And so you don't want any you don't want any wonky LEDs getting in the way. Actually, yeah, this is a good idea. I can use this to kind of position everything and then make sure they're in the right spot when I solder them. Okay, I'm glad that I tried to show what I was talking about because I don't think I would have come up with that if I hadn't just been putting this uh, this piece on there just to, to show what I meant. So this is this is actually a good tip. This will this will hold everything in place. Right, so hopefully you can see how the LEDs just sit a little bit up and yeah slow and steady definitely is the way to go use this as a guide made it yeah it wasn't it wasn't quick but it was definitely a secure way to go through it and once you get uh, once you get everything in there hopefully maybe in this camera you can see it it's pretty tight in there there's a diode uh, a switch and an LED that all fit within this grid so using the grid to make sure that everything fits as you're going through definitely makes a big difference. So I was nervous when I started working on this um, using these kind of switches. Uh, it might be real tough to tell, but there's, there's some wiggle in them. They go, um, you can push them, but you can also kind of push them towards uh, you know, different degrees of the compass, you know, like, um, but the way that this all fits together and with those screws in there, that's actually pretty secure. So I think I would feel real good um, just kind of mashing those when I'm playing live because there's not a whole lot of wiggle left when all of this comes back together. So it's nice to see, actually. All right, awesome. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the first board done. So I think it's getting kind of late. I'm actually not sure what time it is, but uh, I'm gonna take a short break or go to bed. It's lunchtime on day two, and uh, yeah, I have a bit of time, so I decided to take a long lunch, and I'm gonna work on this um, second board for the little eight. Uh, this one's mostly just resistors, a couple of diodes and capacitors and IC components. And once this is done, the module's done, so I think I can get it done relatively quickly and that'll let me spend my free time later actually playing with it. So <laughs> that's why I'm working on it. So let's get this one done and uh, yeah, then I'll get back to my real job. Awesome. So there's the uh, 
There's the finish module. Uh, really nothing too tricky about it uh, after you get past all of the buttons, LEDs, and diodes that have to pack so tightly into uh, this uh, white case. Um, but yeah, man, once you get everything together, this is just, this is a solid little uh, module. There's nothing, there's nothing wobbly on it at all. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited to go play this thing. Let's go.